Greetings, my name is Maya Taylor. I'm 12 years old and a member of TTB. TTB is a youth dance group at Solution Chapel International. July is the fasting month at Solution Chapel International. All the adults fast for 30 days, but our pastor fasts for 40 days. Wow, 40 days! This year, he called upon the whole church to fast with him for 40 days from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it was called the 40 days of glory. Today I want to take us through what I did, what I learned and my experience of the 40 days of glory. We started on the 22nd of June to the 31st of July. Day one, it was difficult. I felt shaky, I felt weak, so I drank some water. My mum said that's how malaria feels like. Day two, please don't laugh at me. But I called my mum and said I'm feeling very sick. She said you're hungry. Consider breaking your fast and eat something and you'll feel better. That day, I really understood sacrifice. I wanted to fast, but my body was giving up. I remembered a lesson at Youth Takeover Nation. Google is your best friend for verses. So I googled fasting and I got so many amazing verses about different people's sacrifices through fasting. Luke 4 verse 1 to 4. Jesus was led to the wilderness where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during these 40 days and at the end of them he was hungry. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, tell the stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Wow. Bread here is like food. And Jesus is saying, man does not live on food alone. I know you want to say, we need, we need air to live. But Jesus said, not air or food alone, but the word of God makes us alive. Day three. My mum wakes up to pray at 6am and tells me, there's no point of fasting if you don't pray. And I'm thinking, 6am? Every day for 40 days. Seriously. Something in me was saying, it's time to give up. Day four, I struggled to get up to pray, but there were prayer points and they were very interesting. I was also learning Bible verses. It was different from just projecting them. One week later, I was actually learning a lot about sacrifice and I could also see it. We don't cook during the day, so we shopped for less. I was also still doing homeschooling and therefore not paying for school dinners. So I learned, fast and pray. We need, we pray together at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Give what you could have used, give what you could have used to others that may be in need. Read the word, you get encouraged. Two weeks later, I was excited and had an alarm for prayer. Sometimes my mum was struggling to get up and I was the one going to drag her out of, of bed to pray. Last week on Friday, my mum my mum and I went for a walk and I was feeling unwell again. This time I even vomited. Just two hours before 6pm, but I didn't give up. Yesterday was the last day and I feel like I passed a big test as a young Christian. There are many things I didn't know, but I learned through prayer and fasting. How to pray, fasting is a sacrifice, fasting is good and helps us change. Fasting helps us to give. Prayer brings us closer to God. The words of God 
actually makes us feel strong. Praying together as a family is good. Learning God's word together with family is even better. Next time your parents are praying, join them. Next time the church or your family is fasting, try little at a time. You will learn and experience a lot. Remember, the world is waiting on you, you or you to become a solution to your nation. God bless you.